In this video, we will be installing and setting the clearance on the 3196 impeller. First of all, make sure that you have a new O-ring on the back of the impeller. You want to make sure you get a good seal. Next, we'll go ahead and screw on and tighten the impeller. Now that our impeller is tight, make sure that your gland bolt nuts and your set screws are loose to allow the shaft to move freely. So we're going to go ahead and put our casing on now. Check and make sure that you have your gasket in place. Alright, so now we got all the bolts tightened for our volute. Also, make sure you tighten the foot bolts to be sure the pump doesn't move while you're setting the impeller clearance. Now, we're going to set our impeller clearance. Alright, first of all, remember that the nuts and set screws on the cartridge still need to be loose in order for your shaft to be able to move freely. Alright, so first, you're going to loosen the jam nuts and the jack bolts. Say loosen them about two turns. Make sure you got plenty of room for movement. Then your lock bolts, you're going to tighten these evenly until the impeller touches the inside of the balloon. You'll know when this happens is the shaft will not turn. After it touches the inside of the volute, we're going to back these nuts off some. Then we're going to set our indicator. Now for your distance, you're going to want to refer to your maintenance manual for the impeller clearances or contact the manufacturer of your pump. So you're going to zero out your indicator. And once you figure out your distance, you're going to run these jack bolts all the way until they touch. And when you tighten them, you'll see your indicator start to move. Now go about five thousandths over your target number. Because when you tighten these lock bolts, it'll back it, it'll back it up back to where you need to be. Once you get those where you want them. Tighten these lock bolts. You want to see that indicator start to back off of, back to your target number. There we are. Make sure they're all pretty snug. And you're going to tighten your jam nuts. Make sure it moves freely. You can even listen to it to be sure that it's not rubbing anywhere. After that, you're going to tighten the nuts and the set screws back 
on your cartridge seal, nuts first, then set screws. All right, so let's get the nuts and set screws back tightened again. So when you tighten these, you can get them finger tight to start with, and you're gonna alternate side to side. Make sure they're all tightened evenly. It doesn't take a whole lot of pressure for this thing to seal up. You still want to get them pretty tight. Now, same with the set screws. You can run them just until they touch. Then you can tighten down on them. And that's it.